my name is Ralf Mendel. I'm the managing director, CEO of Smart Micro. So, I, we've all heard of Smart Micro. What's it do? We uh, we design, we develop, and we manufacture high-performance radar sensors for traffic management. And the radar sensors have what? benefit compared to say in-loop detectors or machine vision cameras or something? Well radar sensors have uh, one uh, massive advantage and that would be that they're above ground sensors so you don't need to cut any any loops you don't need to destroy uh, the pavement so that's a big advantage and um, with one single radar sensor you can actually replace up to 64 loops so it's also a very efficient technology and uh, cost effective. When you say about replacing the loops, so that means that, for example, a single radar that's at a set of traffic lights, what sort of distance can it judge uh, queue length and so forth? Well, our radars work up to 200 meters, so um, we, can, uh, we, we can use them for detecting uh, traffic participants at the stop bar uh, and out to 200 meters that means it's also good for what we call advanced detection and what does it mean for local authorities I guess if it's doing multi lanes then you're able to pick up uh, queue lengths filter lanes etc and really be able to manage the uh, the signals much more efficiently yes that's correct you, you can replace, as I said, many loops with one single radar and it can not only detect the first row of vehicles at the stop bar but it can also detect the queue lengths and uh, uh, do advanced detection but you can do much more with a radar you can not only detect the motorized traffic but it's also possible to, uh, to detect the uh, vulnerable road users, pedestrians, bicyclists and so on those are classified and uh, uh, detected uh, and with this information provided to the traffic controller you can do um, not only uh, adaptive, uh, adaptive traffic lights but you can also implement measures to protect such vulnerable road users by extending red or green faces or similar. You actually beat me to it. I was going to ask you about active travel. So is this something that you were preparing anyway, or is this something that you introduced uh, as a reaction to the two years we've had with COVID? Uh, no, no, we, um, we originally started with a mission to replace the inductive loops to offer a cost-effective solution for traffic detection. But then we found that uh, the data that our radars can can provide which is the uh, the position and the speed vector the class of uh, up to 256 objects at a time in real time that set of data is so rich that it can serve for many more applications than just stop our and advanced detection you can you can um, count the traffic you can build statistics and you could even you could even uh, broadcast such data, the real-time traffic data per object, you can broadcast that to the connected vehicles and allow them to avoid accidents. So there are many applications uh, for which our sensors are good and um, while the usual business today is the, the let me say simple loop replacement, there are many more, there's many more possible and applications for the future. I mentioned about machine vision. Do you do anything with uh, cameras uh, alongside radar at all? Yes, we do. Thank you for this uh, good question. We um, have been developing radar sensors for 25 years, uh, but uh, over the years we found that uh, our customers are also interested in actually seeing a picture along with the radar data and uh, so we uh, started to develop a product which we call Stream. It has a camera integrated in the same housing, very convenient, and it delivers a video stream along with the detected uh, objects. And uh, that stream can then be uh, made available to traffic operation centers and so on to get a visual impression 
of the intersection. But beyond just providing a stream, we do exactly what you suggest, namely uh, applying AI algorithms for video detection so that we can detect traffic participants not only from the radar uh, measurement but also from the video stream and uh, so we are on our way to uh, to complete the development of a true hybrid uh, sensor that does both the radar detection and the video detection which has many advantages uh, and has a higher performance than radar alone. So you're producing products based on customer feedback. What's the customer feedback been like here at Intertraffic uh, this week now that we're back actually seeing people in person? Well, it's great to be back here in person after, I believe it's four years without Intertraffic. I had attended uh, multiple Intertraffic uh, shows before and um, yeah, it's it's great to be here again. It's it's the first real traffic trade show with with really good attendance, and we met uh, very many customers. Uh, we had two very busy days uh, yesterday and today, and uh, yeah, we are, what are we discussing with our customers? We we are discussing existing business. We are discussing new projects that they have. We are discussing the supply chain issues, the shortages that everybody experiences and uh, we are yeah, sharing our product roadmap with the customers and uh, look for customer feedback to um, further improve our product portfolio.